guys welcome back to another video since the last time i actually filmed a video i feel like i have so many life updates i basically went traveling for three weeks there is just so much to catch up on but ever since i got home which was about two weeks ago i feel like i've just been playing catch up trying to get into routine so for the next few days we're going to be dedicating a lot of time to getting our life together which i have been looking forward to and there's going to be so many different aspects to this video but you guys the very first thing that we're going to be doing to start off this video which i'm so excited about i have about 10 minutes to leave my house because we're going to go and get a haircut i'm so happy because i was actually able to get a cancellation this morning and i've been really feeling it especially in my ends that i need a good cut so i'm not going to chat too much because i do need to get going but we are going to start with the first thing on our list my outfit is super simple but i'm just wearing this little cardigan from revolve you won't be able to see them but these are the color of my jeans they're also from revolve i'll show you guys a before really quickly of my hair i used to have a ton of layers in my hair which have all grown out my hair is actually really long right now so excited to do this update but yesterday i went and i got my hair cut i was a little bit worried because i knew my ends were dry so i didn't know how much i would actually be cutting off or what my hairdresser would recommend but i basically tried to cut minimal off which was still probably like two inches or so it is still so long it is just so much more layered which i love i love the feeling of just having good layers it looks so much better when i style my hair because again my hair was looking a little bit flat it just had zero dimension in it since all of my previous layers grew out but you guys can see in the front i basically just asked for face framing pieces and long layers throughout my hair but yeah i'm so happy with it and whenever i do get a haircut it just feels like a fresh start i think it's because i don't get haircuts very often i'm actually working today which i really want to jump in and talk about at least in more detail at some point in this video because i know i've been updating you guys on my marketing internship i actually have some really great updates from that so i'll be sure to touch on it at some point in this video but the very first thing that we need to do if we want to get our lives together and just honestly feel like we're flipping a page heading into a good direction which i think is the very first step that i want to do when i'm wanting to exit a slump is basically create a very big to-do list the things that I know I need to do in order to start feeling good again I'm just gonna sit down listen to some good background music or lo-fi music this is one thing that I haven't really been doing I feel like after coming home for vacation which again I was gone for three weeks I came back to starting my job the first week which was so exciting and again I'll touch on it a little bit later and then just so many other things that come with life that I really needed to get to that I just kind of started grasping for straws and getting to whatever I can which I think kind of caused a little bit of a burnout so that is my reflection of what I'm trying to move away from I I just want to get into a really good consistent routine again get organized and be in the flow of things so i'm going to start at the drawing board which is my to-do list and setting some sort of plan in place so let's get right into it Ever since I've been home, I have had it on my to-do list to do a really good clean out. My makeup desk gets messy so quickly. I also moved into a brand new bedroom, which I'm in right now, and I've had so many things to do with like the closet and just overall getting it together. Your environment is one of the most impactful things in your life. And whenever I feel like I have a clean room, even just starting my day off and waking up in a clean room, it can make me feel so much more clear-headed. And that is basically the goal right now of where I want to get. My closet is in rough shape. I haven't figured out the exact organization I want to do because this closet is very different than the closet I had in my old room. So if you guys watch this video and you're like, okay, you can do this, let me know down below because I need all the advice. So yeah, grab a snack or whatever you need because we are gonna go heads down and do a full clean out. Like I mentioned, I'm needing a lot of help. The only thing I don't have in my closet yet is my dresses because again, I don't even know where to put them and like how to organize them. Little insight to what my closet looks like. So here I have some sweatsuits that again, they've just been folded here. But the thing with my closet is that all of it is shelves like this. So and then right here, I have two hangers. But on the first rack, I have all my long sleeves. And then on the bottom, I have t-shirts. And then it goes into tank tops. So I feel like all of this is really comfortable. But I'm just like not sure if my organization is reaching its full potential. I definitely need to do a really big cleanup and reset all of this, especially going into a new season pretty shortly. I want to be able to see my clothing and have it feel really organized when I walk in here. Hi, Mochi. <laughs> already started this big pile of clothing which is basically pieces that I want to donate or give away. Doing mini closet cleanouts throughout the year always makes me feel so refreshed so before going into spring this is going to be a really big one to do.
actually Friday evening so it's been like two or three days since I last filmed but yeah today is Friday and it was the end of my work week which I'm very happy about I was definitely feeling very tired this afternoon and I'm not gonna lie I was actually debating between napping or doing a little bit of self-care but I gave it a second thought and I realized that not that napping by any means is a bad habit but tonight I was committed to doing a self-care night and I've realized this about myself is that the way I normally fall into a rut and just out of routine which can make me feel a little bit down is when I have things that I know I need to do and I don't follow through with them or when I say I want to do something and I don't do it so even as small as this I was feeling so tired but I realized number one I'm gonna feel so much better after doing a little bit of self-care and number two I made that promise to myself that I'm gonna do this so even if it's big or small I'm gonna follow through with it because eventually all of those I'm gonna do it later is accumulate and you spiral and you end up usually completely out of your routine so I just did some body care which I've actually been doing and focusing so much on recently and I always forget how good I feel after doing body care so I have a couple of my favorites there's this one by Rare Beauty and they actually just came out with a body care line which is something I've seen a lot of brands do recently but I really love this one there's also a youth to the people body cream which is kind of on brand because I use their cleanser literally every single day and this one also smells amazing and then the one that I used today was the Athena Club dewy body lotion this one smells so good it smells like vanilla cream and I always have the best sleeps and just feel so silky whenever I do a little bit of body care I'm gonna be going in with my tan Lux the water spray I'm actually not that big on self tanners I don't know why I think it's just the process of like being in bed after and having that feeling of self tanner on but I would say if you're looking for a really good tanner that doesn't give you that feeling this literally feels like a hydrating water spray and then after I apply that I'm just gonna be going in with my moisturizer as much as I love self-care I actually have a really simple skincare routine so most of the time I'll literally just use a moisturizer and eye cream and leave it at that or maybe one serum but I usually don't go too heavy because honestly sometimes I wonder do I even know what I'm putting on my skin it's so weird but I find that my skin looks the best whenever I'm using minimal but high quality products this was just a little duo that I use how fun is this this is the Laneige cotton candy lip mask it smells so good but yeah I'm just relaxing this evening again I had a work week this week but yeah I thought I could sit down and fill you guys in a little bit because I've really been wanting to talk about it in this video and now I feel like I'm finally back on YouTube and I just have things very steady now at home I know I've been bringing you guys along the journey of my internship which if you didn't know or didn't watch those specific videos where I talked about it for the last few months I've actually been in the role of a marketing internship it's for a digital marketing agency but basically that started three months ago and my contract was for the three months so entering it my goal was to hopefully fulfill a full-time job at the company because I really do love the company that I was interning for it was so much fun it was something that I wanted to get into for so long and I honestly didn't even know where to start like actually doing the job hunting process was very overwhelming and difficult especially in our market but yeah long story short basically as my contract came to an end I ended up getting offered a full-time position and of course I took it because I was so excited so yeah that is the update that I wanted to share is that I am in my position now it is a full-time role and hours Monday through Friday but it is a remote position so I am working from home so yeah, I've kind of been thinking about my upcoming videos which I feel like not a lot is going to change in my content but there is still so many sides to it that I can show whether it be a couple of vlog style videos like work weeks in my life I'd be so excited to make those videos I feel like the clock is hitting me and I'm just ready for bed so yeah tomorrow Saturday it's gonna be the weekend and I definitely want to get a lot done tomorrow in terms of like organization and just feeling good and productive anyways have a good night and I'll talk to you guys in the morning <laughs> As you can see, I've been having a really good morning so far. It's only around 10.30, but I've just taken the morning to relax, get some cleaning done. So I've decided what I'm gonna do for the next little bit while I wait for my face mask to dry. I don't know why. I know it says always in my bottle that I should only wear my face mask for like 10 or 15 minutes, but I don't think I've actually ever left a face mask on for less than I think like 30 or 45 minutes. Let me know if you guys can relate. Do you take your face mask off when the product tells you to, or do you just leave it on for longer and enjoy it? What I wanna do for the next little bit is just sit down on my computer with my planner and all of my different organizational tools that I use. I know it's so different for everyone. Like for me, I use my Google Calendar to plan out my month and then I weekly plan in Notion and then each morning I make a to-do list in my planner. And when I'm not making a to-do list in my planner, that is when I know that things are a little bit off track because I'm skipping that step in the morning. But yeah, once again, your tools might look very different. You might have like just a planner or just a Google Calendar or if you don't have any organizational tools, which to be honest, a few years ago, that was me. When I was a little bit younger, I don't really think I used anything to like organize. But now in 
my life. It is one of my favorite things to do. Um, and sometimes I can spend an absurd amount of hours just strictly getting organized because it can be so much fun. I have my face mask on. I'm going to light a candle, maybe listen to a motivational podcast while I do this, but I'm going to plan out my work schedule, my YouTube videos for the month, any upcoming events I have like birthdays or family events. And then I'm going to make a whole new page in my journal for the goals that I have for this upcoming March, which is always super fun to do. And I do have different aspects of my life. Like for example, you might have school, fitness, well-being. So I like to write down all the different categories that resonate with me. So yeah, it doesn't have to be a new month when you're doing this. Even if you're watching this in the middle of March, you can do this in any point of time. to get ready for the day and I wanted to sit down and chat for a little bit. I'm gonna use today because I do have to get ready really quickly for the day. I've actually been really excited to do my makeup today. I feel like the past few weeks, every time I've done my makeup, I've either been in a rush or just didn't do my full routine. And I think when you finally do your full makeup routine after not doing it for a while, with all of its steps in place, it just hits different. I'm actually going for brunch after I film this video, which is super exciting because I feel like since I've been home, I haven't had a lot of plans that I've been needing to get ready for. So it'll be fun to pick an outfit for today. I genuinely genuinely enjoy the time that I spend at home so much and just being around close friends and family and yeah it has been so much fun getting into my routine with my new job. I definitely want to mix in a couple of weekly vlogs in the month because I feel like that way I can show you guys more of the behind the scenes and I also think it's fun because I think a lot of you guys are either in school or work full-time so it'll be nice to see my routines. My dark circles recently have been so dark and I don't know what it is because I think I've been getting pretty good sleep. We might need to do a little second layer of concealer just to cover up that darkness even with my full makeup routine, I've just been going for a really glowy skin and lighter coverage. I haven't really been using any foundations recently, even though the coverage under my eyes right now is not light. But yeah, I'm feeling so much better than the start of this video, which was definitely the goal. I think it is so easy and normal and even healthy in ways to let things pile up and feel like you're in a rut from time to time because you never reach that point of feeling in a rut or down. Then it is so much harder to appreciate and also recognize when you're feeling good. So whenever I am in a rut, I always try to remind myself that I can always come out of it so much stronger learn something from it and I will get through it like I always do every single time I just picked up this Huda Beauty powder which I actually use a different shade of this all the time but it is their cherry blossom powder which is a pink color and every single time I'm not kidding you for the last year since I've been in Sephora this color is always sold out but it's supposed to be a very brightening powder which is something that I've been needing in my collection because I've never used a pink powder right off the bat I can definitely tell this is going to be very brightening. I already know it's the same formula, so I feel like this is exactly what I was hoping for it to look like on me because normally when I use this shade, as you can see, it has many yellow undertones. I think this is gonna do what I was hoping for it to do. ready for the day now it is the best feeling but you guys i've been really excited to make this video partially because i picked up some new pieces for spring and i've been trying not to wear them too much until i actually showed them in a clothing haul in this video all of these pieces are from revolve which is one of my favorite stores when i knew that i wanted to spice up my upcoming spring wardrobe with some color and just some really cute pieces i knew revolve was perfect for that because it is like a one-stop shop i know i just said that i haven't been wearing these pieces but some of them i haven't been able to hold myself back on so number one you guys saw me wearing this sweater at the beginning of the video it is this really comfortable purple sweater. I knew I wanted to bring back some color in my wardrobe and it's still a little bit chilly in the spring so I thought this was perfect and again I think I've actually worn this. I don't even know how many times but I keep picking this up because it is so comfortable. I also picked up this top which I think is so beautiful. I thought it would be perfect for like any dinners or lunches. It is just this tan color. It is a button down and it has the little cinching on the waist so if you want to make it a little bit tighter. Even throwing it on with a pair of jeans and sandals when it does get a little bit warmer. This is also a really great spring summer piece. I can't 
can't believe I'm even saying the word summer. I feel like summer just passed. I like to think ahead when I am shopping. Having pieces that I can wear in more than one season or even all seasons just makes so much more sense. So I think this is a really cute shirt. It is this little white ruffle tie up top. Again, I think this is a top that just goes really great with jeans and keeping it casual. So yeah, I love this and I feel like I'll have it in my closet for years and years to come because you just can't go wrong with a top like this. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm realizing that I've worn so many of these pieces in this video. Couldn't help myself, they're all so cute. But I have this little white cardigan that I actually wore when I went to get my hair cut. Super cute, it is so simple. And again, I can wear it unbuttoned and just like over a tank top or I can wear it just as a top in the springtime. I love this top, I am actually obsessed with this top. It is just this tank top by the brand Super Down, but it has this little cutout. Again, I can wear this during so many different occasions, but it's definitely a more elevated white tank top. I have not worn it yet, but I definitely know I'm gonna be wearing this a ton. The material is so soft. It's almost like a knit material. I realized I don't own any crop denim jackets and I think that this is so cute. It looks like this. It is the perfect fit. It's not too cropped, but then also not too long. Whenever I wear a long flowy dress and it's a little bit cold out, I always want a good crop denim jacket to throw over that dress outfit and I never have one. So that is what I'm picturing this with. A long maxi black skirt. This was just something that I really wanted to add into my wardrobe. It's amazing quality. I know I'll wear it with so many different outfits and it also fits more mid-waisted which is something that I was looking for. These are items that I feel like I need to try on to show you guys but I just picked up a black pair of trousers but I like how the material is a little bit lighter. They're not like a heavy trouser so spring summertime if I feel like wearing a good black pant this is perfect. This is just a green maxi dress that I really love. It is such a soft material which I've gotten dresses from this brand before. It's called More to Come and they're always so soft. Last piece I got here it was just a pair of jeans. These are one of my favorite styles. I actually have a darker wash which I wear all the time. I wanted to pick up a lighter pair because I think they give an outfit such a different look compared to the dark wash that I have and this color is such a perfect blue denim. I believe they're called the Dylan jeans by Super Down. Again, I'll have them linked down below and I don't even know how many times I've worn my other pair. Anyways, you guys, I think that this is the end of the video and I'm just thinking back but I genuinely feel so much better than how I felt at the start of this video when my goal was to get my life together and just get myself feeling good and organized in my routine again. So it is the weekend and I'm really excited to go into this next week. I hope that this video could have served as any source of inspiration for you to also do a couple of these things and get yourself ready for a new season. So yeah, I feel like I'm really excited for my upcoming videos because like I mentioned before, they will be showcasing some of my work week and the behind the scenes. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Keep me posted if you have any videos that you wanna see from me. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you back with my next video. Oh,